On today's episode, I tell you that I suck at flipping cards. Hello, sports card collectors. It is the Coos Guy, aka Jordan Sky. This is my YouTube channel. The sports card market is full of sharks. People waiting for you to overspend so you have to liquefy your whole collection at a discount. I am here to help you protect your hard earned money and assets. Join me in the hobby we all love. Boom! Or I should say, kaboom. So I love cards. I've collected cards since I was a kid. And I have been primarily in the TCG for a long period of my life. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, other little trading card games that I really enjoyed. Uh, sports cards for me has been relatively new these last three years. Has been very interesting just seeing how serial number cards hold value, golds hold value compared to TCG stuff where it could be reprinted. I kind of went... I wouldn't say all in on Kuzma. I bought a lot of Kuzma quality stuff that I think after 200 hours of education on cards, I felt comfortable putting my hard earned money into. And I feel like that stuff will grow. Is it risky? Yes. But I think he is going to do really well this year. And I might have a chance to recoup my investment, take money out and be able to sustain myself and be able to take care of business my whole goal with this this is my first i love i've been loving i've loved to edit video i w grew up with call of duty and uh clash of clans and all this stuff i loved editing video but i didn't know how to do it fully until i'm 25 years old i've got some experience under my belt coaching volleyball editing videos for them uh, gave me a lot of experience that I'm very grateful for and this whole one-year journey. Sorry, my cat's attacking this I'm glad that I didn't fall for any of the pump and dumps Luka Doncic uh, Kobe White uh, Shea Gillis Alexander all these different prism base rookie cards. Yes, I was buying base prism rookies But I still have 400 Kuzma bases raw, so I didn't buy any tens. There was a pop of 1300 still is around that time uh, but I don't think let's just talk about Luka Doncic for a second. Why don't we? Uh, I think his card We'll just pop up a graph right here really fast uh, Luka Doncic is currently sitting at uh, 300 bucks. I think this is gonna be a 50 to a hundred dollar card Especially with how things worked out with Trey Young. Trey Young went to the Eastern Conference Finals He got really hyped up his prices peaked and then the next season the shortest off season, one of the shortest off seasons in a long time, uh, came back. They did not perform the same. They did not do as well, and his prices fell. I think the same thing is going to happen to Luka Doncic. I see that his Prism rookie card is the most overvalued because it has the highest population. And if anyone is telling you that it's a buy right now, it's because they've already lost on the card. So I'd be very, very cautious. But just to get back to the point of me sucking at flipping cards, I could have made a lot of money flipping Luca cards or any other Prism Rookie card. But I stuck with my morals. I felt like it was unethical to... I didn't feel right with just going with everyone, with everyone that was telling us to do this. I didn't want to be a part of that herd of cattle. So I decided to go on my own path. I chose my own player. Uh, bought a lot of his uh, rare stuff that I'm very proud to own because uh, you don't see it very often. And if you do see it, uh, <laughs> that you should see some of the stuff that his stuff is listed for and it's pretty nasty. Like it's pretty gross. Will I have an opportunity to flip some of it? Probably. Uh, will I preach and tell people that it is at its peak and its high point and it might fall? Yes. <laughs> will I probably be wrong and then he end up winning something? I don't know, maybe that kind of scares me. But we'll see what happens. To get back to the point, I suck at flipping cards because I could have done so well. But I've stuck to my morals. I am a true card collector. I am not an investor. I am a true card collector. And if it helps me sustain myself, I would be very grateful. My other goal, just to give you some goals that I have for myself, I might not make as many videos anymore just because I am now starting fully on I, I have enough work under my belt. I have enough examples under my belt to start my own digital media agency to run ads, run 
uh, different accounts for local businesses to help them grow. That is my whole goal to start the biggest agency here in California and work my face. I grew up without money. I, I, I'm very blessed to be able to have worked three or four jobs from uh, 18 to 22 and uh, 24, uh, 23. I don't even remember when I quit. Uh, but I have now just been able to get some skills under my belt. I didn't go to college. I have like one year of college under my belt, but I realized that it's just people are able to cheat and people have degrees that don't matter. Uh, so uh, I just feel like I've built some skill sets that I feel like I could go ahead and sell myself and be able to build a team. I feel like I feel like I could surround myself with people that are good people and hopefully we could build something big. So that's just some of my aspirations and goals, but we'll see where life takes me. You never know. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you and your family are safe and healthy. Take care.